Greetings and salutations, e-reader lovers. Welcome to another nighttime reading oh, test. Yeah. My name is Michael. My name is Peter. We have here the Kobo Glow HD. Yes. This is the yet unreleased new Kobo model that will be start shipping at the end of April. And we're gonna give you a sense on how the glow light works. Yes. And show you some tips and tricks along the way. So Peter, tell us what we have here. This is the glow light on 100%. So traditionally what you have to do to change the glow light, oh look, Pete, <laughs> or on, yeah, on Pete's instruction, is tap the middle, see the little sunshine logo right there, click that, and then adjust it like so. Now, Kobo has introduced a new feature where you can slide the sidebar, think of it as one of those scrolly things on your documents on your computer, and it adjusts the brightness from there. So now as you're reading it, both your hands you go do 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 oh too bright and you just lower it more less more or less really cool yeah. really cool feature there's very few e-readers on the market that i'll actually allow you to do that there's a couple that do like a double tap or you press and hold this button or you slide two fingers but this one's really cool because it's out of the way it's easy to do you can't really mess it it's up it's a single finger yeah, too. it's really easy so let's take a look at the different glow light levels uh but first let's like increase this the size of the font just so you can get a sense on how the fonts look -na 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 -na. All right, so that is maxed out. You can really tell from the O's how good this resolution is. Any curved letters, because they don't look pixelated, they look very smooth. Yeah, the 300 PPI mm -hmm. really makes a difference here. And don't forget, this e-reader is the same resolution as the Kindle Voyage. So Absolutely. it's the best in the business right now. So we're going to go through the ranges here. And Kobo has a percentage reader, so you actually know what percentage you're at. So it's about 70. Roughly 50, 16, 15, and it starts to get a little bit unreadable in complete darkness. Uh, of course, everyone's rooms will be different, whether you have door from under, uh, a light escaping from underneath your door, or the curtains open a crack from the city lights. Or you have a like a, a night light. A night light, Because maybe yeah, you're scared of, of monsters. monsters in your closet. So obviously you have 100% of range to play with instead of just four levels because it's suited for everybody. So it all depends on what environment you're reading it in. Right, so, you know, I think the best thing that you guys can take away from this video is being able to... That is honestly the coolest thing we wanted to show you, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's a glow light, but you can turn it up and down with your finger, and that's really awesome. Yeah, so different ranges, as you can see, as we're going, like, quieter in the light. Yep. Um, on camera, this may not look readable, but actually in the studio, that kind of is. Right. But if you notice on this level here, Peter, we're starting to see some blotches. Yeah. What does gonna, that do from? If we're going to look at the imperfections, you see that the patches in the middle are really gray. The sides are a little bit overexpo overexposed, and you see these big bright lights. And what these are, as Michael pointed out, are the LEDs. There's actually LED, LED, LED. LED right there and they're shooting up so it starts to get a little bit intense right there but if you just turn it up all the way get some good glow light going there we go the, those imperfections very quickly go away and of course this is just nitpicking the device is perfectly readable you have even distribution from corner to corner so it's quite nice yeah I figure when your e-reader is for the maximum to about 50% you don't really notice the imperfections but you start to notice that once it starts you going do. lower from 50% right so uh, our advice is is go down to about 50% if you lo if you're staring at the screen for hours at a time reading an e-book in low light conditions uh, otherwise we basically showed you the complete lighting range here of the Kobo Glow HD. If you have any questions or concerns, drop a comment on this video. Uh, if you have any ideas for future videos, let us know as well. Uh, for Giddy Reader and uh, Glow Light comparison of the Kobo Glow HD, my name is Michael. My name's Peter. Everybody take care.